2020, Australia. Representing Australia, Giselle Manning, 26 years old, is a strong candidate to be reckoned with at Miss Universe 2024. Her radiant beauty and intelligence reflect her background as a lawyer dedicated to advocating for social justice causes. Nineteen, Nigeria. Miss Nigeria Kidima Adechina is 23 years old and 170 centimeters tall. She is a model and law student. Nigeria was last placed in 2019. It wouldn't surprise me if she finally put Nigeria back to shine in Miss Universe because she is very beautiful. 18. Malaysia Miss Malaysia Sandra Lim is 23 years old with a height of 173 centimeters. She is the strong candidate that Malaysia sent after Deborah Henry in 2011. She was previously the first runner-up Miss Global 2022. She is an actress, TV host, and model. 17. Albania Miss Albania Francesca Rutzum she is 22 years old and 176 centimeters tall. She is an international model and has done sessions with guests Oh My God Swimwear and Goddess Exclusive. She appeared on the cover of Influencer in 2020. Albania's last placement was in 2019 and you can already expect that she will give Albania another high placement. 16. Denmark Miss Denmark Victoria KJR Thylvig is 21 years old and she is 175 centimeters tall. She's pursuing a degree in marketing and economics. Denmark is yet to win the Miss Universe crown. Their last placement was in 2007. This year Denmark got one of the most beautiful faces and she could possibly end Denmark's 17 years of non-placement. 15. Honduras Representing Honduras is Stephanie Cam, 32 years old and 175 centimeters tall. She is a dancer, model, and mother. Honduras is doing great this time, from her looks, performance, and physique. She looks so ready to compete. The last time Honduras placed was in 1955. Hopefully this year Honduras can end 50 years of non-placement at Miss Universe. 14. Panama Miss Panama Italy Mora is a model who is 19 years old and 177 centimeters tall. She's currently pursuing education in the field of communications. I think she's an upgrade from her predecessor. Mora appears to be a huge comeback for Panama. She looks young, fresh, and I believe Panama will do very well this year. 13. Puerto Rico This 36-year-old single mother of three will represent Puerto Rico. She's Jennifer Collin with height 173 centimeters tall. She's proving that grace, resilience, and compassion can shine through life's most challenging circumstances. Her story resonates with many, showcasing that it's never too late to pursue one's dreams. 12. Guinea Miss Guinea, Mariama Saran Ba is 26 years old and 179 centimeters tall. This year Guinea debuted at Miss Universe and has a strong representative. She graduated with e-commerce degree and previously was placed as top 40 at Miss World 2021 in Puerto Rico. Miss World alumni often get a strong placement in Miss Universe like Shaynis. Maybe that will happen again to Guinea this year. 11. Mexico Miss Mexico Mara Fernanda Belter N is a 23-year-old marketing and communication student. Maria is also the founder of MARP Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping those in dire need. 
Not new to the pageantry, Beltran also held the title of Miss Grand Mexico 2023. She could be in pressure to being a host country girl, but pressures aside she is a strong candidate. I have a feeling she will go all the way. 10. South Africa Mia LaRue made history as the first deaf woman to win Miss South Africa. The 28-year-old, who is deaf and wears a cochlear implant, is also the first differently abled finalist in the history of the Miss Universe pageant. She has also worked full-time as a marketing manager with a startup business. With a beautiful face and an inspiring story, it won't be surprising if Mia goes far and sees South Africa shine once again on Miss Universe final night. 9. Zimbabwe 28-year-old Sakhile Dube is the representative of Zimbabwe. I think she is the best candidate from the African region and will be the first Zimbabwean representative to go far in Miss Universe. She succeeds in everything she undertakes. She competed at Miss Earth and Miss Supranational where she finished top 8 and top 13. She's marketing manager and currently, she is studying fashion designing and styling at the Milan School of Fashion in Italy. We have to keep an eye on her, strong contender for sure. 8 of Philippines Chelsea Manalo is 24 years old and 170 centimeters tall. She's Filipino-American and the first black women to win the national competition. With a tourism degree, Chelsea focuses on youth empowerment, particularly children's education among indigenous communities. The Philippines is a strong country in Miss Universe with a large number of supporters and of course we could totally expect a good fight from Chelsea and she'd be someone to watch out for. Seven, USA. Miss USA Alma Cooper is 22 year old. She's an army officer and graduate of the United States Military Academy. She's currently pursuing a master's degree in statistics from Stanford. Alma's weapon for this competition is definitely her walk, her wit, her compelling and convincing delivery when she is speaking, and her strong military background which shows how strong she is as a woman. I am sure she will surprise us at Miss Universe. 6. Ecuador Mara Topic will represent Ecuador, she's 29-year-old communications graduate and professional model. She is one of the most competitive this year that could potentially end up on top. She doesn't only register beautifully in photos, but also in motion. We don't usually see Ecuador in the finals, but I believe her organization can help her transform into women that Miss Universe would love and we might see Mara placing and can possibly make her way to the crown. 5. Colombia Miss Colombia Daniela Toloza, this 30-year-old woman works as a model, designer and also as a senior management, advertising and public relations specialist. Another frontrunner since the beginning, Daniela will give Colombia a huge fight for the crown once again. From her looks, catwalk and her body she looks so ready to compete. I cannot see her placing lower than top 10 as of this time, she is just so good for this competition. 4. Thailand Thai representative Opal Sukata is 20 years old and 180 centimeters tall. She can speak three languages, Thai, English, and Mandarin. She currently studying political science, majoring in international relations at Thammasat University. This woman has a very queenly aura from head to toe, her beauty just scream pure elegance. She is undoubtedly the biggest star in the Asian region. If she could be able to maintain the consistency with a perfect styling and performance, then there is a very high possibility that she could possibly take home Thailand's third crown. Second runner-up Chile Miss Chile Amelia Dides is 24 years old. She studied singing at the University Conservatory. 
After last year Chile managed to enter the semi-finals, this year Chile again sent a strong representative. She is really beautiful, beauty-wise, I think she could even be better than last year's Chilean representative. I hope her organization can prepare her well and there would be less things to do because this woman is already amazing. First runner-up Dominican Republic Miss Dominican Republic, Celine Santos is 24-year-old lawyer and actress. She's another frontrunner for the crown in my opinion. Her facial beauty is so fresh and magnetic. Not new to pageantry, she represented Dominican Republic in Miss International 2022, where she finished second runner-ups. With her experience and her amazing personality, I believe she has a strong chance of bringing the second Miss Universe crown to her country after Amelia Vega. Miss Universe 2024 is Peru. Mrs. Peru Tatiana Calmail is the 30-year-old model and actress who is also one of the most experienced contestants this year. Previously, she represented Peru at Miss International 2022 where she got first runner-up. She got one of the best faces, one of the best body and she can definitely rock the stage. There is really no doubt in my mind that she is a shoe and at least in the top 5, she truly deserves all the hype she is getting and hopes that Tatiana will become the winner of Miss Universe from Peru.